I think white women need to kind of step up their game, to be quite honest. Like, sorry, but I'm calling I'm calling you bitches out. Like, Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're on ScreenRant.com. We're going to go through a little bit of this article. Upcoming Star Wars TV show explores fresh timeline and location. Tease his writer. That writer, of course, is none other than this. I would like a black writer. She. Because if I said diverse, no, you know, you, you, get, you get, well, white. Yes, because that's what everybody's been clamoring for. Leslie Headland, Star Wars. <laughs> Let's get into this article a little bit. Of course, it's going to be female-centric because we can't have anything with males anymore. It's got to be female-centric. Got to check all the boxes for representation. Russian Doll creator Leslie Headland teases when her Star Wars Disney Plus series takes place. Following the launch of The Mandalorian's first season last year, Lucasfilm began to increase their plans for Disney Plus. Yeah, they talked about the casting and or show, which nobody wanted. The Obi-Wan show. And then, according to them, a possible spinoff starring Boba Fett after The Mandalorian. Although most of the rumored Star Wars shows remain just that, Lucasfilm did confirm, of course they confirmed, Leslie Headland show because she's a woman and Kathleen Kennedy insists that the Force is female and that Star Wars is for girls. You know, women have always liked Star Wars, but they liked Star Wars for what it was, not for people making it to be feministy. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense that this is, it's, it's almost pandering. Well, yeah, it is pandering. Lucasfilm confirmed Headland's addition to the galaxy far, far away a few months later. The announcements did not come with any official details about the story or setting. Which is funny, because they acted like they didn't know what it was. But in the next article, we're going to talk about Headland kind of contradicts that statement. In some of her first public comments about the show, Headland teased when the mysterious Star Wars series would be set in a new interview. She spoke to Fantastic Frankie! You serious? Which she will write, produce, show run. Ugh. Is she going to star in it too? And confirm that it will take place at a point in time that hasn't been thoroughly explored. I think they're doing this so there's really nothing she can script. Like, let's shove you all the way over here in this. I would I would love it if, like, Bob Iger stepped in and was like, you know what? No. We're not going to let you in the main timeline because we don't trust you as far as we could throw you, which isn't very far. Go sit over there in the corner and make a story about the ice cream man, Will Rowe Hood or something, you know? But you can you can gender swap, do whatever you want. We don't care. Just don't fuck with the mainline continuity because Lucasfilm's already botched that bad enough under Kathleen Kennedy. I would say it's in a pocket of the universe and a pocket of the timeline that we don't know much about. That's what I can say. Like, you, if, if you could hear a picture, you could hear this picture, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> When the reports of Headland's Star Wars series first surfaced, it was stated that set in a different part of the Star Wars timeline than other projects, Headland's new comments effectively confirmed that this is accurate, even though it stopped short of revealing when in the timeline it takes place. Since there's no timetable for this project, it would be impossible to know more information or when it will surface or where in the setting will be confirmed. Okay, so they have no confirmation of when this is going to premiere. My guess is... The powers that be that aren't Kathleen Kennedy are trying to string this along until Kennedy's contract expires next year in October, September, so they can kind of just like sweep this under the rug and pretend this piece of shit never happened because that would be the best thing for them right now. You need to get goodwill back with your fans. You know, Mandalorian did it, but how long that's going to last, who knows? It depends on season two. So we don't know there. But. Let's get into this other article. Uh, I just want to look at one line here. Headland detailed the process of working with Lucasfilm and revealed she's been writing for a little over a year. So you mean to tell me they don't know when it's set, they don't know what it's about, but she's been writing it for a year. And this is from comicbook.com. This came out about an hour ago. I'll link both these in the description. Uh, the one more thing I wanted to look at in this article. While Headland's series does not currently have a lot of confirmed details, previous reports indicated that it will center around a female protagonist. Of course it will and have a martial arts thriller element and follow a corner of the Star Wars timeline that has not really been explored yet. I think I've had ideas for Star Wars movies since I was like 13 years old, maybe eight years old. 
Hedlund previously said in an interview last year, I'm the type of Star Wars fan that doesn't even have a favorite movie. Sure, Jan. I just want to live in the universe of Star Wars continually, in per perpetuity, forever. So when people are like, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? I'm like, there is no Star Wars movie. There is only Star Wars. Because she doesn't have a favorite movie, because she doesn't know or familiar with the movies. I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't believe your fandom. I don't. I don't believe any of these people anymore. Because they come into Star Wars and they cast everything that is continuity and canon and what people love to the side. And then they're like, here, just take this. This is what you really want. You really want a female protagonist. Okay, what does she do? Well, she's a female. All right, so what struggles has she gone through to bring her to where she is today? Well, she's a female. Okay. Is that all you have? You're a sexist misogynist. I just wanted to know what the character was like. That's basically what they're gonna do with this. I, I have a feeling, especially with somebody like Leslie Headland, who's under the thumb of Kathleen Kennedy, who is intersectionality shows on the regular. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And also tune in tonight, episode 126 the podcast, Monday night going in raw. I have a great show planned for you. Also Wednesday, I will be debuting a new segment on the show will be a pop culture quiz with Mr. Burger. That's right. I'll put a preview up on the channel later on. It'll be on Twitter. You can find it right there. Links to everything in the description of this video. Remember, before you go, do me that big favor. You watch the video, bitch slap that like button. Just do it. You watch the video, slap the like button. And also, if you have not yet at the time of this video, please, Hit that little red subscribe button. It greatly helps me, the channel. I truly appreciate every one of my subscribers. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, let's get out of here. I'm Etep Wakuin of The Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all of yous. And remember, if I don't see you, have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. I'll catch you on the next one.